please rise and raise your right hand. I will begin by swearing you in. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Let the record show the witness has answered in the affirmative. Thank you, and please be seated. As I testified previously, Mr. Giuliani's requests were a quid pro quo for arranging a White House visit for President Zelensky. Mr. Giuliani demanded that Ukraine make a public statement announcing the investigations of the 2016 election, DNC server, and Burisma. Mr. Giuliani was expressing the desires of the President of the United States and we knew these investigations were important to the president. Everyone was in the loop. It was no secret. Everyone was informed via email on July 19th, days before the presidential call. As I communicated to the team, I told President Zelensky in advance that assurances to run a fully transparent investigation and turn over every stone were necessary in his call with President Trump. I finally called the president, I believe it was on the 9th of September. I can't find the records and they won't provide them to me. But I believe I just asked him an open-ended question, Mr. Chairman, what do you want from Ukraine? I keep hearing all these different ideas and theories and this and that, what do you want? And it was a very short, abrupt conversation he was not in a good mood, and he just said, I want nothing, I want nothing, I want no quid pro quo. Tell Zelensky to do the right thing, something to that effect. Well, he also testified that you confirmed to President Trump that you were in Ukraine at the time, and that President Zelensky, quote, loves your ass, unquote. Do you recall saying that? Yeah, it sounds like something I would say. <laughs> That's how President Trump and I communicate, a lot of four-letter words. In this case, three-letter. <laughs> Putting it in Trump speak uh, by saying he loves your ass, he'll do whatever you want, meant that he would really work with us on a whole host of issues. 